The Revenue Recognition Principle Few conditions should be satisfied to ensure that revenue is recognized accurately in the accounting records. Let us demonstrate by an example. ABC Company sells and installs security systems for homes and businesses, in addition to providing maintenance services for these systems. ABC Company agreed with XYZ Company to install a security system at XYZ premises, and provide the required maintenance. For ABC to recognize revenues from that agreement, few conditions should be met. The first condition. There should be an identified contract between ABC and XYZ companies. The second condition. The contract should include one or more performance obligations. A performance obligation is a promise by the supplier to transfer distinct goods and services to the customer. In our example, we have two performance obligations in the contract. The first obligation is the installation of the security system, and the second obligation is the maintenance services to be provided by ABC Co. The third condition. The transaction price should be determined, and this is the amount that the ABC is entitled to upon the completion of the system installation, and the delivery of the maintenance service. The fourth condition. The transaction price should be allocated among the performance obligations in the contract. Suppose that the contract in our example stated an overall price of 100,000 for both the installation of the security system, and the delivery of the maintenance service. We should figure out how much of that 100,000 is the price for the system installation, and how much the price is for the maintenance service. Let us assume that the price allocated to the system installation is 90,000, and 10,000 for the maintenance service. The last condition. The performance obligations should be satisfied. This is done by transferring the goods and services to the customer and the customer gets control of it. Once all the previous conditions are met, then revenues can be recognized only for satisfied performance obligations. In our example, let us assume that ABC completed the installation of the security system, but did not yet perform any maintenance service for the system. Here, ABC can recognize revenues only from the system installation as it has already satisfied that obligation, so it will record revenues by 90,000, which is the price allocated to the system installation obligation. On the other hand, ABC cannot recognize any revenues from the maintenance services as it has not satisfied that obligation yet. When that service is delivered by ABC in the future, then only can it recognize revenues with the remaining 10,000, the price allocated to the maintenance services obligation. Now, let us talk about the matching principle in the following lecture.